Hello, and welcome to Clutch My Pearls, the podcast where I, Emily, learn all about the world of erotic fiction from my friends Vanessa and Barbara. Hello. Hi. All right, ladies, what are you going to tell me about today? Uh, we're talking about Mile High by Liz Tomford. Ooh, is it about airplanes or is it about Denver? They might go to Denver, but it is about airplanes. Okay. Yes. You're a natural. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm gathering that from the mile high. So is this book, how many pages is this book? It's pretty long. Okay. 490. 490 pages. Damn. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a doozy. For, especially right. for like an erotic, like romance. It's, there's, there's so much. That's actually one of the critiques that people had is this is so long. It could, this could have been an email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is a little long and it's got some trauma stuff hmm. that everybody needs to work through so oh like is it are they creating trauma salt working through trauma or a bit of both <laughs> there's okay. you know they've got baggage and they're all very like vocal about that abandonment so. issues sure Most people sure. bring baggage on a flight that so is true yes. that is true that works okay so mile high tell mm-hmm. me more about like, what's the summary of it? Well, it's part of a series. It's part one of a series. And it's one of those ones where, like, technically you can read them all independently, but you're going to see recurring characters and go, who the hell is that? So, okay. whatever. It's a hockey romance, which is oh. huge. I don't know. Ten years ago, I don't know if this was a thing, but now it's everywhere. Yeah. I- I've everyone. Heard. I've heard about, like, the hockey talk and, like. Yes. It's all over book talk. There was there book is- talk drama with it, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah. Um, definitely enemies to lovers, forbidden yeah. love. They're oh. co-workers. co-workers. Yeah, yes. it's one of those. It's fun. Okay, so tell me about it. Well, the synopsis of it, the main character, the guy, his name is Xanders. Ooh. Chicago hockey isn't complete without me, everyone's favorite player to hate. I know my role and I play it well. In fact, I thoroughly enjoy spending the majority of my game time in the penalty box before leaving the arena with a new girl on my arm each night bad boy in the penalty box he's a bad boy (laughs) what i don't like is the new flight attendant on our team's private plane she works for me not the other way around but i'll be sure to remind her of that and i can guarantee by the end of the season she'll be begging to quit her job (laughs) but every road trip blurs the lines and i can't quite figure out if i keep pushing that flight attendant call button in order to push her buttons or if it's more than that oh my god okay so that's our guy he's a hockey player that's our main our main dude that's our dude Okay, and so obviously the girl, she is the flight attendant on their private jet. She is Stevie, Ooh, flight oh, attendant, okay. busy businesswoman, professional. Right. I've been a flight attendant for years. I thought I'd seen it all, but when my new job lands me on board working for the most egotistical and self-righteous diva in the NHL, I start to second guess everything. <gasps> is inc- that Xander? It might oh be. My God. Okay, Spoiler. I'm done with that. I'm, done with that. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Including the promise I made to myself of never hooking up with an athlete again, mm, no matter okay. how annoyingly tempting he might be. <laughs> Evan Zanders is unfiltered, unapologetic, and too attractive for his own good. He loves his image, but I hate everything about it. Everything but him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, Stevie. That means she's a busy businesswoman. She's she a busy businesswoman. Want, she takes it very seriously. Oh, yeah. She's not a stewardess. She's a flight attendant, and she's there for safety reasons, not to get banged. <laughs> she's here to save your life, and you should be thanking her. Yes. You should be paying attention to the like opening thing where it's like, notice where your exits are, put in mm-hmm, flight vest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so. We'll Stevie talk a Xander. little about the characters. Mm. So okay. Stevie just moved to Chicago to be closer to her NBA pro twin brother. So she's got sports in the family. That's she why knows. she yeah, won't be dating any athletes anytime She soon. knows what it comes with. It's like if you have any family member in the military, you're either all in or you're never going to go there in your life. <laughs> One of the two. No <laughs> in between. Either Dependa or never. <laughs> okay. So they got a new, the hockey team got a new airplane. Mm-hmm. And of course it comes with a new staff. And Stevie's there for their first away game. Okay. Um, and then a little bit about Xander. He's bad boy, always in the penalty box Ugh. for fighting. He's always paying the fees. Photograph with a different girl every night. But apparently his media persona is all an act constructed by his agent. Allegedly. Oh. Does so he play into it? Who can say? 
Now, do they ever mention a lot of hockey players don't have all their teeth? <laughs> do they mention? <laughs> do they touch on that at he all? He has his teeth. Okay. As far as we know, he has all of his teeth. Yeah. They He's don't go nice fully into the dental histories of each <laughs> hockey player. There are several. It's very like right. him and all his friends. You get to meet all of them as well. I didn't. I don't remember anyone not having yeah. teeth. Okay. okay. So already a little bit. That's not like real life. Right. 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 At least has some cute caps. Okay. So. Stevie, she's got a history. She knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. Busy businesswoman. Mm-hmm. Uh, has she just gotten out of a relationship or anything? Not. I mean, she, she just... dated somebody in college, okay. and I think that is kind of what turned her off. Some guy that went pro. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. but I think she's just yeah, just not into athletes. Okay. She's been scorned. She's been burned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she said, never again. I'm not dating anyone who has played. Also, my brother. I get it. So I'm just not even going yeah. there. Okay, so she's working on the plane. They mm-hmm. get the plane. So the first game away, she uh-huh. is the she has to give him the the exit row briefing, right? And they always sit in the exit row. Yeah, Sander and, does, of course, and he does. his best friend. Yeah, it's where and, all the leg room is. He's a tall guy. Yeah, it's basically the penalty box of a flight. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be private. Okay, so exit row only. Yes, and he kind of gives her the brush off, thinking that she wants an autograph. That what? was cute. That was cute. He's so used to all these girls falling Pestering all over him. themselves that when she like goes to approach him, he's like, oh. "I'm too good for you. You can't get an autograph. Like, let's just keep this professional." And she's like, "Okay, cute. Uh, can I do my job now? Oh, can I, love I explain it. some things to you?" Steve's like, "I don't give a fuck." Yeah, I'm here to do my job. I'm a busy businesswoman. Immediately, who the fuck does this guy think he is? I'm a busy businesswoman. Yeah, down to business. Yeah, I'm here for safety only. Sure. So she kind of puts him in his place too. Ooh. Mm. I bet he liked that. Mm. I think the whole plane kind of liked it. Ooh. The plane loved it, and he had a he had a definite response. Yes, okay. I think he felt a little like now I'm gonna remind her who she works for. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now so, we've okay. got a power struggle. I've got to Run show her, her. Ragged. Yeah. Right. Hitting the call button constantly. Just a real mature guy who's constantly <laughs> trying to get under her skin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't want my autograph? I will never let you live this down. <laughs> right. Like, I'm annoyed that you want my autograph, mm-hmm. and then now I'm pissed that you don't want my autograph. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So the whole, like, enemies to lovers, coworkers, it's not an immediate, oh, my God, we're in love with each other. It's... She thinks he's a joke. He thinks she's got to learn her place. I, I don't know. Okay. People are very either really into the banter like that or they're very against it. This guy was just rude to her. Okay. But I thought it was fun. I did too. She she also thought it was kind of fun because, I mean. Well, she thinks he's super hot. Right. Regardless right. of how annoying you are. Yes. Yeah. You're good looking. He's yes. still like a hottie Xander in the penalty box. She loves a sense of humor. She's very down to earth. And she's like, all right, I can see this guy's got a good soul yeah, yeah. eventually yeah she gets eventually. There. <laughs> yeah i oh. think he kind of finds her annoying too but he says that he thinks that she's good looking yes Ooh. definitely yeah okay. so yeah they're All attracted right. to each other they don't realize that either one of them is you know dancing around each other because they're attracted at first they're just like oh this is about this is about the stakes of being a b- professional right and her needing to become a fan i don't know he was he was all upset okay so there's definitely a no fraternization rule, mm-hmm. um, yeah. but every time they're out of town for their away games, they're running into each other. Oops. Oh. And he always <laughs> says, are you following me? Right. He keeps like trying to go like, clearly. Oh, right. You're following me. Not realizing that she's employed by the airline that. Well, no, the no, no. They're He's running buried. into each other like at bars and restaurants. Like they happen to be in the same city that she was on the flight with him to. Right. Yeah. Okay. She travels with him to all the games. So then they run into each other in the bar and he's like, are you following me? He doesn't actually think she's following him, but he wants to bother her. He has yeah. nothing else to He doesn't know what else to say. No, yeah. he, he to wants to just needle her. Ooh, okay. And she's unfazed. Ah, Stevie. She's, you, can't, you can't phase a Stevie. Yeah. You know? I think also too, like he, there's a couple of instances where he like rescues her mm. um, when she's like out with some friends and they're like, he can hear her like talking shit about Stevie when she's like at the bar. Oh, he a friend kinda... talking shit about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so then does he tell Stevie or does he like tell that friend like, hey, 
you're a shitty friend. No, they just he like takes her away and he leaves pulls with her. the swoop in of like it's like two old friends of her friends of hers from her hometown who were never super like nice to her, mm. but now they're like, oh, you're in town and you happen to work with all these hockey players. We should all go out, and oh, so they go to this bar, okay. and he sees these two friends of hers who are not being very nice, and mm. he just swoops in very like attention on her couldn't care less about these two friends as a very like do you want to go get a drink with me and she's like yep bye and the girls are like he picked her like it's such a classic okay i love that yeah now how far this is the game that i like to play of how far into this book do they fuck like, yeah. when does it happen? How snail trail are we talking? Yeah. <laughs> like, because, like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, foreplay leading up to it. I feel like because the book is, like, 400-something pages long, mm. and there is a lot of this, like, needling, like, that there's got to be the buildup to the big, like, fucking. You got to build that tension before you break it. And there's a lot of plot in this. There's a lot of, like, family trauma and all kinds of, like, mental health stuff. But, uh-huh. like... We're here for the smut. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what this we're getting a, to. We know no, where we're going to trauma shake. read the book. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So I think that it's, I'm going to go, I'm going to go page 215. 127. Wow. Ooh. 127. So then there is still like 300 pages of just going at it they got to resolve their issues they've got a lot of they got a lot of baggage they got to work through there's the whole reveal that her brother is a professional basketball player it's like there's a lot there's a lot to it okay okay so is the baggage that he's like helping her unpack the like hey it's okay to fuck a like major player no not like it's like bad trauma is like no i mean she's got body insecurity issues and i think that comes from her mom Mm -hmm. who (laughs) yeah (laughs) Truly. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're all like, <laughs> let's not talk about that. And that's another thing is her dad is black and her, she looks more like her father and her mom is thin, white, doesn't love that her body doesn't look like her daughter's. Yeah, oh. mom's like super into pa- pageants. She yeah, she's very like sucks. Southern beauty. Yeah. Oh, and Stevie. Stevie's too yeah. untamed. So that's kind of, that's, that's a lot of what her trauma is. As, as yeah. Her, and her therapy is about like her, not just like, body image but just like a lot of it yeah. a lot of yeah. different layers to it okay yeah i don't i don't think i think the reason why they don't have sex right away is because she's trying not to give in that right. night when they go to her hometown in nashville where she meets up with some friends i think that they have like a a moment where he steals her away and he basically says we should have one night to get it out of our systems oh right okay. just, just get it over with just physical that's, that's his playbook yeah he does not repeat he keeps he keeps a note in his notes app he keeps a list of all the women that he hooks up with in all the cities that he travels to oh. and then <laughs> notes about whether or not she's really good at this if you're in the mood for that call her like wow he is and a you man know he's whore. just like brr brr like so just when going through it all, when he says one night to get it out of our systems, he really truly thinks that that is how that's going to go. Right. He's like, I need to, you know, I've got, I've got Stevie with a little dash next to it. I don't know what to fill in next. Any city. Yeah. She's always around. She's, yeah. She's at the <laughs> top where it's like global. <laughs> um, okay. So tell me about like their first, like they got to get it over with, but like, it can't just be like, okay, in and out done. But, like, Oops. Well, she kind of gives him, she kind of blows him off. And I thought you were gonna say something. Th- I, th- I thought you were gonna <laughs> blow him off. No, she blows him off. Like she's, she's like, like no. I'm not into it. No mm-hmm. way. No how. It's never gonna happen. Right. And I think when he finds out who her brother is, it's through an Instagram post. Yes. And it's oh. like Chicago athletes and their siblings on like a sibling post or something. <laughs> yes. Like and, and there's so sh- right. And she's with her brother, and so he finds her Instagram and sends her a request, and she ignores it. Oh, so gosh. the next time they're on the plane, he corners her in the galley. There's oh. a lot of him cornering her and looming over her. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of him just like being in her physical space and her doing her job. <laughs> I'm trying to do my job and I'm being cornered. I'm not okay. going to do you. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> he basically takes her phone and goes straight to the request oh. and he's like, you're going to accept his own request. You're busy working. I'll take care of this for you. Yes. I'm going to help you out. He's a helper. You know? What a his, nice guy. His love language is acts of service, you know? Yes. He's like, you're going to follow me. You're going to accept it. I've got the blue check mark. Take it. Yep. Okay. So he's like, 
if you want me, this is how you're going to get in touch with me. Because he doesn't give anybody his phone number either. Right. Like, no yeah. kissing, no phone numbers, no, no, no commitment. eye contact during sex. Wow. Boundaries. No track my iPhone. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not going to share his location. <laughs> Definitely not. So okay. I think a couple of trips go by and she finally messages him because her vibrator dies. Oh my God! She's been on the what road a, batteries, for a week. Amazon in two hours now. No, it's no. A char- I think it's, a, it's one of those ones that plugs in. Oh my God! Oh, she charger. can't wait. She forgot no. her charger. At home. She's too. Horned We've all up. been there. <laughs> that she, oh, and she's like, I don't have this weird little USB thing. I and forgot I don't the have cord. A brick. Yeah. I don't have- mm. Okay, so she's like, God, I'm just, you know, after being cornered in the galley, I'm so horned up. And I can't go old school. I'm not a pilgrim. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do this myself. I think I'm she tries, the clock. but it ain't working. She mm-hmm. tried, but she's like, I just, it's I don't not the same. have the strength. It doesn't compare. Oh, my God. Okay. So she messages him. Mm-hmm. Are they just... out of town at this point? Like, are Yeah, they... they're always out of town. There's these, like, four hotel rooms down, essentially. No, like... they stay in different hotels. All right, they yeah, stay in different Wait, hotels. I forgot that. I forgot that. She's, she's, like, frugal, right? She's no, no, like, no. The, they just, uh, the airline puts them in a different right. hotel than okay. they do the, the players uh, stay at like a really nice hotel. Okay. That's this like, makes sense. Up. This makes sense. That they would be part of the staff, but Well, I the solution it. is to go. Well, they're also not allowed to fraternize. Oh, that's true. Gotta keep the solution separate. is to secretly go bunk with the athletes. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you're not actually borrow, staying here. Can I borrow a USB cable? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I think them running into each other all the time was. A little more to chance than just them being in the same place at the same time. Okay. Mm. Okay. So fate is drawing them together she's mm-hmm. to hook up the universe. <laughs> yeah. Batteries <laughs> dead. Yeah. What? Uh, what happens? So, so she, she goes, DMs him. Yeah. And he just sends an address. Oh my god. And just it's right a club. Away. Oh. Okay. But she's like, look, I'm in my sleepy pants. Like no, no, no. She she comes dressed. <laughs> like she gets dressed. <laughs> I'm in my sleepy pants. <laughs> she's in her cozies. Like <laughs> no, she comes over dressed. <laughs> okay. So then what happens? They go to a they go to this private club. They hang out, whatever. But they're bumping and grinding, and then they go home and to the hotel room. Do some other kind of bumping and grinding. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, <laughs> so he, they go back to the nice hotel room and they do some, bum- how was it? Is she impressed? Is he the best, the best, the best she's ever had? Because he's a professional. Yeah. And now, he's had a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Have they, but he still has the rules of like, don't look me in the eyes and don't kiss me. He definitely breaks them. Uh, Stevie broke the mold, you know, if you Can't want, resist? if you want to, we could read it. Okay. It, would you feel like this is like the dirtiest part, or do you think that, like it gets dirtier? I think like it's a taste dirty enough. I think it's dirty. There's it's not the there's not as much sex in this book as I would hope. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not the naughtiest. Like it's technically there, but yeah, it's there's not. There's like about this that. scene. Um, they. That's the thing is that they don't really have. They go through big bouts in between, like two months. Oh, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. like they'll have like a night of passion mm-hmm. and then. And she's like, never again. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. I can't do this. Because this you're an job. athlete. And you're an athlete. Yeah, I'm going to get fired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, but I let you kiss me. You know, like. <laughs> do you understand both, what this means? Yeah. I've talked to my therapist. <laughs> I've talked to my bros and they're all stunned. <laughs> yeah. So does he tell the other teammates? He tells his best friend. Okay, okay well, maybe we'll, well get to that. Well, who doesn't, you know? Yeah, you're like, sure, I won't tell anybody. I'm going to tell my best friend immediately. Well, I think he finds out Ooh. because after they do it, uh-huh. she just leaves and he goes running after her, mm-hmm. butt naked. <gasps> just locked out of his hotel room. And oh, my God. Has to, yeah. Karma. Shit. Karma. Karma. She's like, I have to go back to the shitty hotel. Bye. <laughs> maybe I'll put some notes about you in my notes app. <laughs> that's about it that's all i can give you <laughs> um okay so now this book like i said it's not as much of like the sexy stuff there's probably it sounds like there's a lot more of like trauma dumping and bonding this is like a proper romance it's not porn with plot it's plot with porn oh, yeah okay yeah and the plot is a little okay long so there's, there's a lot you could have made this into like two three books yeah like Depending really? on how much you really want to focus on, like, here's the smut, here's the, like, you could have just been like, here's the one issue they have and third act breakup, but they miraculously get back together and everyone's happy. But oh. this, they really went into, like, the family dynamics and the, you know, vulnerability and all, like, it was a lot. Okay. 
So. Which I guess is how you break through the bad boy shell, I guess. Sure. Right? Right. He needs some time to come from, oh, I kissed you. What does that mean? To, I want to be with you. Mm-hmm forever and i think that's my thing about this book is that it's very like cliche like stevie doesn't buy into his bullshit and that makes her different she mm-hmm. calls me on my shit like, yeah yeah it's that and now i want to kiss her and make eye contact with her while you know what i mean like right i don't know she's she's yeah she's the one girl that's different from every other girl she's yeah. not like other girls Definitely. she tried to resist him and he can't have can't get enough right yeah and so that's all it takes yeah because she's the one person that turned him down <laughs> mm-hmm. he has to go for it yeah i want to read the part okay. i want to read the dirty part yeah i did want to say something right before they're about to do it uh-huh he asked her like if she's sure if she wants to do this because other you know he's about to ruin everybody every all men for her after this okay. night now this Love is what he comment. says to her yeah he's like if we do this you're never gonna enjoy are you anything sure ever again love the confidence love the checking and consent this guy <laughs> i mean he what knows. a prince he knows mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and is she like nervous or she's just like oh my god but what about my body or like i, I think <laughs> she well she definitely has some of that okay and he but does he, like, comforts her and he like, he does say something kind of sweet like this is mine for tonight, and he is if you enthusiastic. don't, enthusiastic. Yeah, he wants the lights on. Wow. He's into it. And if you're not gonna let me do it the way I want to do it, then we're not gonna do it. Because he not, wants to do it. If we're not comfortable, like yeah, he wants to do it. We're gonna do the damn thing. Do it. Yeah. Oh my god. What a gentleman. <laughs> what? You know. I mean, he is kind of the like adult version of I pulled her hair on the playground. But listen, it's a cliche for a reason, and sometimes it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Again, one of those in real life, if you encounter this, maybe very different results. But right. right. So, oh, something else funny that he says is he's like, how are you going to are you going to tell your coworkers tomorrow? And she's like, what do you mean? He was like, yeah, when you tell them that you can't walk because you're like limping up and down the aisle at the airplane. Oh, my God. He backs it up with a solid performance. But my God. Like, my God, <laughs> like, where is the line between like the confidence and like, OK, we'll see. I, I changed I, my mind. Yeah. I did find that charger. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I will go old school and just mm. take care of this myself. OK, so I'm going to read this part that you say is a good sample of smut. Mm. a smut sample, a sex serp. A sex serp. A sex serp. Let's do a little sex serp. A sex serp. <laughs> How far do you think you can get before you feel like you're blushing and clutching your pearls? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this first line that I just skimmed, I'm like already feeling my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay. We need a fan. Oof. Yeah, this sent this this paragraph even ahead of what you highlighted. Oh that's what I was saying. If you want to read right before that, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't tease me, sweetheart. Xanders runs the pad of his thumb across my lip in a warning. Stop fucking playing with it and take it out. <laughs> she says that or he says that? He, he says, says it. Okay. Uh, it seemed out of character. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, oh, okay. Returning my attention south, I grip the elastic waistband of his briefs and I pull them down. When, <laughs> when his dick bounces to its full size <laughs> Front bounces to his full bounces. size. Bounces. I'm picturing not like. Okay, I I know what it is, but I'm picturing those like, you know, when it's like a car lot yeah. sale and it's like <laughs> the wacky inflatable man. Like, <laughs> That's how it bounces in my mind. Uh, when his dick bounces to its full size, right in front of me, the first thought that rushes through my mind is, how the fuck is this supposed to fit inside of my mouth, let alone anywhere else? I can feel my eyes widen. As I grip his base, my fingers having trouble connecting due to the size. It's too, it's the can't, it's too much. How, how are we talking? Are we saying can't do this? Yeah. That seems unreasonable. I mean, like a mouth can hold a lot too, but like, I mean, True. It's, you know, there what? you go. Microphone. This is the perfect size. Okay. That's right Xander here. right there, baby. There you go. That's Xander. My it's God. Xander. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. It's thick, decorated with veins, like the, decorated, the decorated. Like he went, veins. I'm gonna throw some veins on. Yeah. I'm gonna decorate She's like, this. I'm gonna trim this tree <laughs> with some veins. <laughs> and for a dick, I've got to say, it's pretty fucking beautiful. 
open your mouth, Xander's commands. I do as I'm told, wetting my lips, then taking him in my mouth. So you can do it. Like, she could fit in it. She She's going to try. Lips. A breathy moan escapes him and fills my ears. Ugh, sliding my tongue down his shaft, I take as much of him as I can. What doesn't fit? I use my hand. Good girl. Xander's clutches my curls in his fist, holding my hair out of the way. Now open your throat. <laughs> we are coworkers. That's a full, that's a full clutch. That's a full clutch. <laughs> you need to start wearing a pair. Uh, <clears throat> hey, I'm blushing. Well, <laughs> she's sitting up. I, and as I'm just skipping through, I just see like fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, Good you girl. know what? Page one twenty five. His eyes darken. <laughs> His, His eyes, eyes darken. darken. <laughs> that is. Uh, this is a lot. Okay, mm-hmm. so if you keep going, um, you'll run into another highlight. Here's here's his body description. Oh boy, I cannot believe this flawless naked man is standing right in front of me. His arms are corded, decorated with bulging veins and black ink. Oh, so he's decorated. Tatted. Just decorated. Oh. More yeah, well, decoration. He's, he's a bad boy. Of course, yes, he's tatted. More ornaments. More yes. tinsel. <laughs> okay, so his legs. Okay. His legs are thick, cut, and tatted. His abdomen is chiseled and lean, and there's a V of muscle that points straight to the most perfect cock I've ever laid eyes on. Seriously, this thing deserves some kind of metal. (laughs) I don't want to be too revealing here, but poll, read the room. Has anyone that you know, yourselves or otherwise, ever had the reveal and went, wow, Michelangelo himself could not, like... (laughs) What 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 could possibly be happening where you're like that is the most beautiful? Maybe I'm just bi. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I <laughs> pass. We don't want to. We we don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe first impression, but then when you get to know the person, you're like, you know, and then that wasn't shit. That you know, he, he sucks. makes me laugh. I'm I'm seeing what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> like here here's the thing. It's uh-huh. not that you're not into it. It's not that it's not you know five stars yeah describing it as perfect yeah. beautiful right. is where i'm like they're not works of art i think i don't yeah. care how decorated it is <laughs> you veins. never look at it and well that's gorgeous i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't i don't think like when there's like a lot of veins decorating or trimming the tree that okay, i no. i don't know what do you think i'm i don't know <laughs> no comment no comment <laughs> Pleading sh- the fifth. So <laughs> sorry, everyone. No, you're fine. You're no, fine. I, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely always that reveal of like, okay, this is gonna be this. Well, this yeah. will do. As yeah, into it as you are, as nice as the like, oh, thank God, this is amazing. Like uh, five stars again. Do you ever call up your friend and go, girl, it was beautiful. <laughs> like at, just that. At, that. At, okay. 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 <laughs> But it's like it's not because it's better than ugly. Yeah, and I've never I've never been into like the super muscly leg muscle bulging veins His like no. chiseled thighs and whatnot. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. But I think and and who knows how much of that was just like being uh, obsessed with like toxic men, you know? Sure, and that you're like <laughs> relatable. <laughs> um, you know that like so your 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 mind is a little clouded. <laughs> That is true. That is true. You're busy doing other things. Yeah. <laughs> You're busy being yeah, like, Okay, this is I can fine. see in the moment being like, oh my God, breathtaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, no, like what dip pic, dick pic has anyone ever oh, received no. and been like, oh, so pretty. No, 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 <laughs> no. That's no, what no. I'm saying. Like, it's not. cats on it or something. Yeah. Yeah. I want to frame yeah. it. Like, <laughs> you edit it and send it back to yeah. him. It's never a good angle. It's never Mm-mm. attractive. They, ne- they never really know what to do with their hands. Um, and it's just never good. And then, Mm-mm. but then if it is like a good photo or if it's like taken as a selfie or something, you're like, oh, don't yeah. do that. You're like, I'm at Target. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, or it's always the like through the sweatpants and then they'll try to like grab it or something. And yeah. You're just like, like tucked underneath. And you can yeah. see all their dirty laundry on the floor yeah. or something. And you're like, mm, see, he's an adult. <laughs> zooming into the background i'm being like yeah. is that mirror clean uh-huh. how's that like you're in that bathroom when's the last time you had some lysol exactly <laughs> get those scrubbing bubbles 
<laughs> anyway, Stevie's into it. She loves it. So she forgive me, Stevie. I, 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 my bad. The heat rushes to her cheeks as the nerves return. Am I ready to do this? Am I ready to let him see me? I've come this far. But what if he doesn't like what he sees? See, this is where we're getting into the trauma stuff, and we want to skip to page 133. Ah! We have actual Ooh, penetration. Let's keep this <laughs> penetration. Oh my God. I love that the like, chapter titles have little hockey sticks. Yeah, let them know. That's cute. Oh, that's, that's cute. cute. That's, that way you're reminded, like, this is a hockey book. Just in case, where yeah. am I? It's hockey. So, did you say it's 129? 133. Ooh, 133. It should be highlighted. On the Kindle. Is this the build up to the entire like she's mind blown by this beautiful image in front of her and then this many pages until there's penetration? Yeah. Wow. One, oh. one what did I say? One twenty seven and then oh, okay. one twenty seven she blows him. One thirty okay. three he's putting it in. Okay. okay. So okay. this is like This is the sex. We this take is our time. Some wordy sex. Like they take their time. Even if you don't I mean, it's for women, so yeah. we're gonna take our time. It's right. but porn. It's, that's right. Even if there aren't very many scenes of it, they don't skim over. We're not reading books where it's like fade to black. Like, yeah, no, and we're doing knows, it. It's we're going there. Yeah. Like that's a lot. I clicked through a lot of pages to get to where it's finally happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're at the 133. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. I didn't even, I, can't. <laughs> I didn't even highlight all of it. So if you, <laughs> you want to read up. I see where it's <laughs> highlighted, but then I skim a little bit up and it's, uh, Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to tell any of my family members about this podcast. Okay, yeah, true. Same. Uh, or or okay. our partners. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Rem hmm? Removing my fingers from her pussy, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wrap a fist around the base of my cock, tapping it against her clit. Oh. Question: Do his fingers fit all the way around? <gasps> Probably. Oh, okay. Probably. He's got big hands. He yeah. he towers over her. He's proportional. Yeah. <laughs> Is this what you've been wanting? I slide my length against her folds, watching the condom coat her with her arousal. Protection. Protection. Love that. King. He's careful. Yeah. And well, that is he's thoughtful. gotta be. Yeah. yeah. He has that notes app list going and he every one of those girls they might be good at something, but they've got friends. Not one kid in those cities. Man, that's that's the, and not any testing. Okay. They get tested weekly. Oh. They know. He knows. Yeah. If you're going to play the game, you got to. Yeah. So right. yeah. <laughs> I slide my length against her folds, watching the condom coat with her arousal. Oh, you read that twice because you liked it so much. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> That's also the next line. Yes. She begs, please, Xanders, <laughs> then take it. I grip her hip, line myself up, and push into her. <laughs> I go. I go. I can't even look at you. <laughs> I go slowly, letting her adjust to my size as I watch her knuckles turn white, holding onto the headboard. Oh, my God, she cries. <laughs> my eyes roll back as she fully takes me, my fingertips curling into the skin in her hips as I try to hold myself back for a moment. So good, I encourage, but holy fuck, that doesn't do it justice. So you're just like reading this at work? Like you're just like... Yeah, anytime, like <laughs> anytime you see a woman on the subway out in her, like that is what she is doing on an airplane. I Did hope it. I have a privacy screen or your welcome. appointment. Like just, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I love it. You know, <laughs> come on, girl. Great, perfect. Five star pussy is more like it. It grips around me, and I have to focus on not coming like a fucking teenager going through puberty. <laughs> He's like so into it that he gets mad about it. Yeah, I can't be. I can't be blowing like, my shot here. I can't be blowing my load right away. <laughs> well, I think something also we should mention is that. He hasn't had sex with anybody in two months because he's, because wanted, he's he been can't. holding out for Stevie. He's got blinders. He wants that. <sighs> he's the competitive. Hand, he's been doing the hand ever since. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's ready to blow. So he's basically back to being a teenager. Mm -hmm. So I, I get it. I get his concern. He only wants to. You know, we love a monogamous man. Sure. Stevie's head <laughs> has dropped down. Her chestnut curls running all over as she adjusts to having me inside of her. After a moment, I pause. She pushes her ass back into me, needing the movement. My first thrust is half speed, pulling a breathy, yes, from her. Putting a little more force behind the act, I pull back before pushing into her again. Oh, my God. You should do audiobooks. This is amazing. Slowly letting her, <laughs> slowly letting her adjust. To, wait, is this? Wait, I already saw this one. Sorry. She loves it. I'm all <laughs> flustered. I'm all like. She's mm -hmm. gripping the headboard. <laughs> 
Oh my God, yes, Stevie's back arches her ass up in the air. It's a real nice ass if I do say so myself. I like that they do write from his point of view as a dumbass. Like that he is like, he's still kind of a dumbass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a real nice ass if I do say so myself. (laughs) We've got an accent. (laughs) Now we have found Xander's. It's plenty soft for my hips to ram into. And it bounces like after every time I enter her, filling both of my hands with it. Anchoring myself, I thrust into her again, this time causing the bed to knock into the wall behind it. Do you like that, sweetheart? Because fuck, I know I do. I think, is he a little country? Where is he from? Do we uh, know? Indiana or something? Sure. Okay, so he's a little bit Chicago? of a Midwestern boy. Sure. Sure. We could be anywhere. He uh, could be anyone. You're doing so good taking all of me. Quickening my stride and finding a rhythm, I continue rolling into her. She's fucking tight and does a perfect job at meeting me in pace, pressing her ass into me, asking for more. I like that from her point of view. She's like, oh, my God, it was beautiful. It was decorated. And like, he's like, it's everything. I'm nervous how I'm going to do it. And he's like, she fucking took it so good. Love it. <laughs> you like me, huh, Stevie girl? I whisper so no one else can hear her name. Where are they that anybody else would hear They're her? They're at the hotel. With all of his teammates. So he's being considerate even yeah. when his brain is barely working. He's like, I don't want to get her in trouble. Right. Like, I just want them to know that I'm fucking, but I don't want them to but know not. who. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, you're annoying is followed by a needy cry causing me to laugh. So she's continuing up the like, you know, like, quit it. You know, <laughs> oh, like, you. you're so annoying. He's like, oh, I fucking love that. Uh, so he says. You think you could handle more? I thrust into her again, this time even harder, watching her eyes roll black in pleasure. Is that all you've got? Stevie? Stevie? Sassy girl. You know? She's like, I can fucking take it. I'm not nervous anymore. Mm -hmm. She fucking loves pushing my buttons, even in bed, apparently, which is fine by me. Give me a challenge, please. That's that competitor in him. He's a professional athlete. He wants to win. Yes. Yeah. And he might already, like, be in the playoffs right now. Mm. But he needs to win the championship. Needs and to be I clear. think that the championship is making her come. Um, so <laughs> pulling out of her, I leave her empty. He's like, I'm taking that power back. Bye. No, she whines, her body trembling as she reaches behind her, trying to grab me. No, I'm so close. Her thighs clenched together, needing to fill the empty ache. What do you say? Please, she begs. <laughs> Desperation <laughs> filling her voice. Please, Anders. <laughs> please, please. I need it. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if I've ever heard a better combination of two words in my life. Okay. Out of all the notes app chicks that he's got, uh-huh. no one has said please, Anders. Vanessa's waving herself. She's all hot. She's. It's hot. First of all, it is hot in here. First of all, I think that <laughs> Anders is not an air hot. blowing. Uh, wrapping one of my forearms around her middle, I hold on tight, needing to keep her upright. As my other hand covers her mouth, I fill her once again, giving her everything I've got. She screams into my palm, her eyes screwing shut as I pound into her. You like that? I stay. Yeah, she likes it. She's like, into how it. How many times do we have to ask? <laughs> he doesn't ask. He states it. Uh, he tells her. Oh, okay. You like Definitely it. We're back in character. You love yeah. It. Over and over again. I fill her from behind. Yeah, we get it, bud. I keep my lips to Stevie's ear, whispering dirty words as I watch the euphoria take over her pretty features. He is so dumb. <laughs> he is so... Just... Uh, he's He has... Ha- he might have all of his teeth, but he has had a few concussions. Like, there's no way. Well, yeah, but he's a defensive... He is <laughs> built enough. Man or whatever you call uh, sure. it. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, defensive he... something... Oh, he's, he's a bad he's boy. A he's always in the penalty box. He's, he's always the, you, penalty box is usually because he got in a fight. Yeah. yeah. So one of my hands moves to her tit. <laughs> <laughs> her tit, massaging, kneading, and rolling her nipple with my thumb. My other hand focusing on her clit. So this is you know he can find it. Two things at once. You know, rub his head and pat his belly. Getting her ready to come with me. That is, until Stevie releases the headboard, takes my hand from her tit, and instead guys it to her throat. Oh, my God. I mean, he was covering her mouth a minute ago. I feel like they understand. Yeah, she's like, I need it all. They're like, same page? All right. <laughs> this girl's an absolute wild card. One minute, she's insecure about what she looks like, and the next, she's asking me to choke her as I fuck her. 
her body in my disposal. But I guess that's a little bit like the relationship we <laughs> we have with each other. Moments of softness surrounded by a shit ton of banter and teasing. He's pretty shit. introspective. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, in this oh, moment. This really reminds me. <laughs> this really is like reflective of like how we are. Like it's amazing how like our dynamic outside of the bedroom is in the bed too. He's like pre doing his therapy session. Like, you know what? I noticed yeah. that our dynamic really is reflective. You know, a little <laughs> hot and cold, a little this and that. <laughs> Shit. I hiss out. I really like fucking you, sweetheart. Stop calling me sweetheart. The humor isn't lost on me that I'm choking and fucking a girl that I ironically call mm. sweetheart. Never. I laugh. Leaning back, my ass on my heels. That's not it. Okay. <laughs> That's not cute. Ick. That's a little bit of an ick. <laughs> Sir, could ick, you that's not? An ick. Well, that's she can't not. see. She's faced the other direction. Ugh. True. Is he covering her eyes? I don't know. She like, might peek back and go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass off your heels. <laughs> could you not? Ugh. Could you, ugh, why are you sitting like that? I have to go. <laughs> oh, God. I pull her with me. So she's sitting on my lap and on my dick. And now, so he's still. Do you. Are his toes curled or Wait. is he flat? With like, so this is I bet foot. you they're curled. Oh, I bet they are. He's too. propped up. Yeah. You hate otherwise that. Otherwise, they'd be like this. Yeah. That's too much like a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Her back is flushed to my chest as one of her hands reaches over. Palm. Oh, wait. Palm curve. When I change the page, I'm all flustered. <laughs> Palm curving around my neck, needing to anchor herself. I liked her body before tonight, but now feeling it in my hands and on my cock and knowing I can throw her around a little bit and not break her, I think, I think I might, wait, I think I might be its number one fan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Emily loves it. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is a lot like their relationship of like, I'm in and then <laughs> that I'm That is out. insightful. Um, wow. Yeah. I'm going to talk about this mm. with my therapist. <laughs> uh are you going to come for me? My lips ghost the shell of her ear. Another whimper leaves her lips as she rests her head back on my shoulder. Her eyes close and her lips parted in pleasure. Her freckled cheeks are flush and her soft brown skin is glistening with sweat. I really want you to come all over me, Stevie. Oh, wait, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong voice. <laughs> I really... Get your accent. Uh, I really want you to come all over me, Stevie. You're doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> Giddy up, Stevie. I continue to bounce her on my cock as cries fill the hotel room. Some from me and some from her. That's not being mindful of your neighbors. Like, that's being kind of disrespectful. Classic Xanders. Xanders, you know, penalty box for you. Mm. It's a boy. Uh, Her body begins to tighten and contract as her pussy squeezes me. This is a lot of cock and pussy. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Please come all over me, I beg. (laughs) I can't. I can't. (laughs) As I... (laughs) <laughs> as i thrust into her a few more times hitting that spot that causes her entire body to shake i watch as the orgasm rips through stevie taking over z she cries <laughs> pulling at the gold chain around my neck needing to grasp something keep her grounded that name is something only my favorite people use and you'd think it caused me to pause but instead, hearing her say it as she comes out. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Almost over. Oh, God. Her all clutching. But instead, hearing her say that as she comes all over my cock does nothing but bring my own release. Fucking hell. I cry out, trying to hold myself back. And just then, I do something I've never done before. Two of my fingers leave her throat. Turning her chin to face. Oh, my God. <gasps> She's sitting up for this. Oh, my God. He never does this. He, he never, never does this. Never. Does this. You guys don't get it. <laughs> Pressing my mouth to hers, I come inside of her, needing her to swallow my cry of her name so my fucking teammates don't hear it through these thin ass walls. So it's like double. Or it's like a lot where it's like he's still protecting her. Mm. He's letting that boundary down of kissing. And... He's just like, Ugh. <laughs> like mouth to mouth. Our mouths move and gape together as we ride out our highs. Stevie ever so slightly continuing to bounce on my, even afterwards, girl. Her fingertips dig into the nape of my neck, pulling me into her as I kiss her with everything I have left. I hold on to her slightly damp body. 
I don't want my body described as damp. <laughs> like, it's funny. It just she's glistening. Sweaty, she's sweaty. glistening, right? She's glistening. <laughs> she's glowing. Now she's like oh, she's real damp. Mm. Yeah, that's not a good that, sounds, that feels musty. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like an old towel. Maybe uh, he likes musty. I don't know. He's he's a he's always in the penalty box. That's true. You know, he's a hockey player. He's smelled <laughs> had a family member play hockey. I don't think there's a worse smell than yeah. a hockey bag. Like that is damp he's not and musty and gross. Yeah, so he's like, you know what? I love it damp. Much <laughs> better than my teammates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a whole lot of eye contact I didn't plan for as we both come off of our highs. I needed that. Stevie rests her head back on my shoulder. Her eyes close as she catches her breath. Her pretty freckled face is glowing from her orgasm, and her lips are swollen from my assault. She stops herself to lie on the bed, completely satisfied. I mean, of course, and content. Her curls sprawled across me, across the white sheets. No, you needed me, I rephrase with a slap of her ass. Here's a question. Is this the first full smutty scene you've ever read that is the first like in detail one yeah that was like all of it come together and i how you feeling good. are your thighs you punching know, you know i am i do have my <laughs> legs crossed like, damp <laughs> i feel you know, i feel a little damp and <laughs> should check emily's underwear after every episode <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I know we're gonna have to replace all of these chairs. We're all just gonna be snail trailing. I'm glad they're it. yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, is that how all of their sex is for the rest? of Obviously, they hook up other times, but this is like the first one. Well, they don't like I said. They don't hook up for a while, but okay. What well, something that I left out is that she volunteers at a senior dog shelter <laughs> in her off time. Okay. There are and so many things that have to be left out because it is 490 pages. Yes. And it's, right. Yeah. And I think she, you know, tells him that she doesn't want to hook up again. Right. But, you know, they start hanging out more and I think she wants to, but Mm -hmm. he's like, I'm not into it unless you really want to give me a chance. So he wants- Like a relationship chance. Yes. (gasps) Like he's like, I'm going to delete the notes app. He is zero to a hundred because he's, he kissed her and he wants it again. This is all new territory for him and he wants it. Okay. Wow. Okay. So- so he ends up adopting a dog from the shelter. It's her favorite. Oh my it's her favorite dog it's that a she Doberman loves. Doberman that's been there for a year, uh-huh. and he adopts it. He'd been visiting it months before, as an excuse to see her. No, or was no, she not there to work through was... his trauma. Okay, and she can't adopt it because her brother's allergic. Otherwise, yes. she would have taken this dog home. But oh, uh, right, the NBA player brother. Yeah. yeah. So she does a home visit uh-huh. for the new dog. And that's where <gasps> it goes down. She's already there. You like, know? and she's like, oh, my God. And you're taking the dog that I like. So did she know that that was his home that she was going to? Yeah. She yeah. Knew. OK. But that's where she decides to. She's like, I might as well wear something that can be taken off easily. Oh, she definitely wears some cute underwear. For him that. him adopting her favorite dog at the shelf is like, OK, All right, let's go ahead and. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give into this. Okay. I liked this book. I think I it, it was like, you know, I love a romance. I'm not, you know, I'm not actually necessarily reading for the smut. I'm reading for the like, I want someone to fall in love and have yeah. sex, but I'm here for the like, and they were happily ever after. Yeah. Like, yeah. but always sex. And I, I liked this book. I like the second one more. Yeah. The third one comes out funny. soon. I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is a series and like, so they're each a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Um, and would you recommend this book to other people to read? I don't recommend books to other people because <laughs> when someone goes, oh, what are you reading? I go, that's incredibly personal. None of your um, business. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need, I have like a whole questionnaire I got to go through before I know what you think. Yeah. Right. Oh, it was a naughty book. Like, right. They held hands. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. so what would be your recommendations? If someone were to be like, I read everything or whatever, would you be like, okay, so this is good if you're looking for, like, what would you tell the audience of like what, uh, this is this is the bullet points of it. It's a hockey romance. He's mm-hmm. a bad boy. He, you know. There's a lot he, of like the wanting her. Yeah, and, like, that yeah. That sort of stuff. But it is like you said, it's plot with porn, not porn with plot. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Give it a I shot. Mean, yeah. I don't know. You know, yeah. no pressure. Don't blame yeah. me if you hate it. I don't know. Just Two stop reading it. Stars. Three stars. Uh, yeah. yeah. How do you rate it? I would at, say it's very readable. I can't rate yeah. out of five. I get. I my brain goes like, well, I don't. You know, the calculations. <laughs> like I. I don't know how to yeah. do that. But like yeah. I would say it's very readable. I enjoyed yeah. it. Okay. 
Do we know what the review, the rate, the star rating is on Goodreads or anything? Um, I don't remember. There were a lot okay. of I reviews. Have it. This was released in 2022, so it's only been out for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 4.2 stars. Okay. And there's a quite a bit of reviews on there, so mm-hmm. out of 12,000 reviews. Okay, so out of 12,000 reviews, uh, you know... Because we think you should read this book. Why not? I mean, I had fun reading just that passage. And there's you had like, you had a lot of so feelings. Good times. <laughs> it was a lot, and apparently there's a lot more. So there's more for people to read. But what we think that you should read this book. Uh-huh. Um, but we did pull some of the one star reviews <laughs> to let you know why you shouldn't read this book. Right. Um, All right. Tell us. Anastasia says the guy starts off as grumpy, but was actually nice deep down. Also, 10 years in therapy. Someone get him a therapy refund. <laughs> I agree with that for sure. Totally valid. Um, she's mad. <laughs> the therapy refund. The therapist is like, yeah, no, we still got to work through some stuff. Yeah, um, this you know, guy. The checks coming in, but Anastasia isn't remembering his internal monologue during the sex scene. We've still got years of work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what she's upset about. The guy starts off as grumpy, but was actually nice deep down. Did you want him nice the whole time, or you wanted him grumpy the whole time? Because this is a one-star review. But, you know, to each their own. Yeah. She was not feeling it. Yeah. Nikki Neath says, if I have to read about how many rings this man wears on his hands again, I will literally smash my Kindle. <laughs> don't read your Kindle. Don't. But how many rings? Does that, does that come up a lot about the yeah, rings? Yeah, it does. He's, he loves to decorate. He, he's a very decorated man. He wears a lot of rings. Are they his, wears like, championship rings no he he's just jewelry. He's a flashy guy he's he's a fire sign is what i'm guessing yeah. but okay yeah he likes a chain he wears a lot of mm-hmm. rings he's got a nice Ooh. watch tattoos okay yeah Ta- how many rings is too many for a man uh, i don't know but this person i love to think would have given it like three stars if they just hadn't mentioned the rings yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i could see that taking me out of like if if he he doesn't have enough, like, I guess it's just, like, the type of guy. But, like, I That's don't Nikki see. That's Nicky Zick, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see, like, like a sports guy wearing that many rings. Mm. But apparently it was an issue. And, you know, Nikki, I stand by you. I, I don't smash your Kindle. If please. you have a problem with rings, this book is not for you. That's yeah. all. That's all. Heads up, you know? All right. Uh, Sarah PR says, so you expect me to believe this character, Stevie, <laughs> is going to eat a bunch of deep dish pizza, <laughs> drink some heavy IPAs, and then be ready for an all-night romp fest? True. Valid. True. Yeah. Valid. 100%. <laughs> Sarah, that is what I would think the same thing, where I'd be like, that is a you know pro tip. If you want to go on a date night, before dinner right do before because afterwards you're like you know i feel like garlic i will throw up especially with the type of like this that she's having to like this is not an easy night she's not able to even (laughs) put her hand around it yeah and she's expected to put that in after she has some heavy ipas and chicago deep dish pizza do you know the amount of cheese in that i would be bloated tummy aches Mm -hmm. bloated tired time for naps like you want to be horizontal but for different reasons the the pizza sweats Uh uh-uh the the pizza sweats sweats. yeah she was damp damp. that's why she was damp it was it was the ipa and the pizza juice suddenly the garlic smell got (laughs) (laughs) um valid valid she makes some good points uh sarah pr also said way too long way too boring i also felt all the rings <laughs> all the rings on xander's hands were really starting to creep me out i liked that he was in therapy that was probably his best quality uh, you know what i stand by sarah pr she's she's hitting on all the high points of, she yeah, sees like, through it and the rings it really you know who's the author again liz Liz. I wonder if the I like that her last name is Tom Ford too, like mm-hmm. designer queen. Mm-hmm. Um, she. I wonder if in the other books you said like it touches on the brother, the brother, but he's not the type of guy to wear rings. No. Okay. So he's, I think I think the author has learned the rings. Let's calm it down with the yeah, rings. No rings. Okay. This okay. isn't her favorite trope that she slips into every book that she can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> um, Xander and Stevie are still in the second book, but it's mostly about her coworker and. Yeah, okay. you see them because again, it's like you could read them out of order, but you won't have the context for how. Yeah, yeah. but um, right. 
There were a number of reviews that had the same complaint that was uh, side-eye at the author, who was white, for constantly bringing up how untamed a black woman's curls are because Stevie is biracial and she does have curls. And yeah, yeah, someone else was saying, you know, the main character is constantly referred to as having crazy, wild, and untamable. A white author in this year thought it was okay to write about a hair type she doesn't have in a negative light. So if that's the type of thing that will bother you, valid, and stay away. Yeah. In the year of our Lord, 2022. True. Okay. Liz Tom Ford, that designer yeah, name Tom cannot Ford. trick us. The rings, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, you know, to each their own. Everyone can uh, read it. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, did you like fun. the rings? Did you <laughs> damp? What do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel about a lot of sex after deep dish Chicago pizza and a bunch of IPAs? And we'll let you know when we're going to do the next book in the series. So stick around for that. Yeah. Like, subscribe, follow. If you want to talk to us, email us at uh, clutchmypearlspod at gmail.com. We're going to have some more fun things coming your way. And tell your friends. Tell your friends that read books. Tell your friends that don't read books. Tell the men in your life if they want to know about what you like, you know, uh, all of it. All of it. Keep your uh, chargers close and uh, your spare batteries ready. Your spare batteries <laughs> around, you know, and guys, not too many rings, you know, we're good. Keep it. <laughs> Chill on the rings. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. Like one ring, like yeah. a wedding ring. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.